Hey everyone. Hello, as I hold my mask in the tripod or the tripod. Multitasking, yep. Brandon. <laughs> Where are we at and what are we doing today? All right, we're Sunday. gonna make this very quick. We're both very excited. We are at Disney's Contemporary Resort. Again, we've been here many times. Mm -hmm. But we are here for our first time to go to Steakhouse mm -hmm. 71, which used to be the wave dot 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 of American flavors. Shed tears. Yeah. Shed tears. Um, but uh, but yeah, we are so excited. Steakhouse 71, it just opened, what, two, three weeks ago? Two yeah. Weeks ago, something like that. Um, got reservations. Uh, this will be a very quick intro because we have about eight minutes to get in there. We're yeah, really we're cutting, yeah, cutting close. Um, yeah, we, uh, you know, so run in. Yeah, I don't know what more to say. We got to run in. We're excited. We're excited. Very and excited. so much. I'm excited to see the lobby yep. because the lobby is redone. Mm -hmm. So this is a whole new world of yep. the contemporary. Whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. A new fan. All right, we're going in. Going in. Going in. Right there. We ha we'll have better footage of it. Oh my gosh. So we're both like, look up, down, all around because no more waves on the ceiling. Yeah, it's kind of it's sad, just, but yeah. it's new. Okay, so we had a little bit of a cut. Yeah, there's a cut here. There's been like five or ten minute gap. So many things. So uh, our server came over and then we also spoke to Chef Brian. Um, both are outstanding. Both are outstanding. Um, we talked to Chef Brian the last time we were here at our farewell to the wave. Um, and he was super helpful. Um, the menu sounds awesome. Yes, it does. And we are we asked lots of questions because there were things we were interested in that we couldn't have, like Brandon said, tears cannot have French onion soup. I can't even have the French onion soup because there is actually okay. gluten in it. And I can't have it because there's chicken stock. So French onion soup at the Wave is a no-go for both of us. No-go for both of us, but, but that's we okay. are getting bacon and eggs. Yep. Hallelujah. And then we're also going to get a salad to split, and then we're both getting two different kinds of steaks and some sides and some drinks. Yeah, so we probably will not eat everything given to us in full because <laughs> maybe we will. We're both, who knows, we're going to find it's out. It's true, and I realize that they, it looks like they don't do the complimentary bread anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Much, oh. So probably a good thing we didn't order bread. Yeah. But I didn't know that, okay. We're going to look at drinks. Yep. And we're digging the atmosphere yeah we really are yeah it's nice it actually feels like it's not as loud in here and i don't know if it's the acoustics but it actually doesn't okay. seem as bad okay yeah but we're excited we're excited so uh yeah hopefully you'll see us next with some appetizers yay The gimlet vintage drink, <laughs> um, and apparently this gimlet is inspired by Lillian Disney, which I thought was kind of fun. So it has a little, like a little herb in there. It's supposed to be very herby. It's made with pure vodka, which is gluten free, and then um, it also has seed of garden, which is like a non non alcoholic distilled liquor made from plants. Okay. So, cool. Is very graphic. It's interesting. It's okay. not super strong. It's very earthy. 
It's very refreshing. Earthy. Yeah. It tastes like a garden. A garden. Which is inspired by this drink and Lillian Disney in her yes. garden. So, yeah, it's really interesting. I want Brandy to try this. Lillian herself is swimming around inside that drink. I want you to try this because I want to see your drink. Okay. I'll try, like I'll try a tiny really sip. I don't want to drink too much, but I'll try a tiny sip. Uh, I'm going to try Sarah's drink really quickly. No cross-contamination mm -hmm. issues. She described all this. It's a vodka. It, yeah, it's a gimlet. Oh, wait. There's Lily and Disney right there. Yes, She's yes. on the lily pad. On the lily pad. I don't think you're going to like this, but I'm, I'm curious to see your thoughts. It's very earthy. It's kind of grassy and herby. Well, there is a little grass flavor, isn't there? Yeah, like, yeah, a little grassy. So it's like, it kind of reminds me, if you look at it again, Sarah can pan down. I mean this in a good way. Like the swamps of Dagobah. Oh, no. Like, there's Master Yoda right there, training Luke to pull the X-Ring out. Oh, no. You want to try your drink? Oh, yeah. Hold on, everyone. Stand by, viewers. This is the Fig Manhattan. It is monkey shoulder blended scotch. Coin, coin trout, huh? Coin, coin, yeah. Link to, Sarah will link, link to the video where I legitimately said coin trout because I've never heard of Quantro. It's orange. Um, coin trout, Quantro, Noir, fig simple syrup, and orange bitters. It looks it, really, really it good. It looks really good. Mm. Uh oh, it must be good. Um, there's the. Uh, Monkey shoulder blended scotch, everyone. Um, Sarah, can you try this? It's really good. Are, okay. you, are you able to? Yes, I will try. All right, we're going to flip this camera. This this is delicious. Um, the only thing I wasn't expecting, there's actually ice in it. Oh. So it's not all solid oh, There is ice that. in it. Yeah. Okay. So be prepared when you try it, there's ice too. All right, Sarah is now trying the coin trout. And Brandon, in between this, I think she likes mine. Better. I might like hers better, but mine is delicious. What? Should we be trading? No, no, no. I, I, <laughs> it's strong, yeah. Strong. Yeah, the bourbon's there. The bourbon is there. Yeah, if you like scotch or any kind of yeah. whiskey, this is definitely going to be a strong wine. Yeah. It does have ice in it, which was unexpected. Yeah, it, the ice was unexpected when I took a sip. But it's good. No, it, it is right. There's a subtle bit of, of yeah. the fig in there for the sweetness. And I, and I realized, while it's Sarah's good. looks like Dagobah with Master Yoda, it's orange instead of green, but mine looks like Peter Pan's hat. Oh, boy. So like there's his little feather. This one's good, and this one's good. They're both they're totally both, different, though. Yeah, they're both really... This is very refreshing, and that one is just kind of like a classic old-timey drink. No, Sarah's right. This is clearly more refreshing. It's this strong. one feels like you might drink it in a place like this, if that, yes. ma if that makes any sense. Very nice. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to enjoy these. They're both really good. First, this. Okay, so we got a wedge sandwich to split, which looks amazing. It does. And it looks like the blue cheese is going to make Brandon right very happy. And, and then, then, heck yeah. The fancier presentation of bacon and eggs. And we have a little sauce. Should I put the sauce over? Yeah, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> so good. All right. Know what to do. Well, we dig in? yep. Sarah's gonna dig in first to that. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh wait. This is like Citrico's. Do you see how easy that is? Yeah, it's like butter. Okay, let me try this first, okay. and then I'm gonna do the first. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. They definitely amped up the bacon and eggs. Yep. Um, this is like, it, it does look like the one you got at Citrus. Yes, it does. And they have the egg, the poached egg, and the grits. I want to try this real quick. Gordon Ramsay would love it. And it's just yummy. Delicious. The pork is really good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Super tasty. When do we have some fun? All right, so we'll try the salad next, but I'm going to dig in 
to this. All right, everyone, it's my turn. I don't even know how to cut. Look at, you, you don't, don't even have to, to cut. cut. Yeah. Who? Everyone? Oh, boy, Brandon. Everyone? Keep together. Is the citric is for? See many feet. Um, we reach. Sarah needs an equal amount. I'm having one more bite on camera. Can you try it with the grits? You know what? I will do that. Please. Enough. That, there it is. In fact. You really amped up those hashtags. You're right. I'm going too far. Yes. There it is. Ultra. Okay. There it is. Ultra. Let's have one more. You know what? I, I spilled some grits. Let's have some of those, shall we? Oh, my goodness. Perfect. Absolute perfection. I don't care how hungry you are. I'm not hungry you are. If you come to the whip, Steakhouse 71, steakhouse you get the bacon and eggs. Period. End of story. It, if you don't, 911 will be called because it's a crime. No, no. A crime has been committed. Can we eat our salad now? Yes, we will. Okay. So, when, when in a mid-century modern kind of restaurant, one should have a classic kind of mid-century thing like a wife's salad. So, we not. The wife's salad um, does contain dairy, yep. um, but it's gluten-free and safe for Brandon and me. Most of you guys got some blue cheese, some egg, kind of like your classic wedge salad. Is it as good as it looks? Mm -hmm. You were going to live for the blue cheese in this. Okay. It's definitely a strong blue cheese. It's like, it's like very refreshing. It's classic kind of like iceberg lettuce, but that's what a wedge salad should be. I love the dressing. The bacon is very good in this. Um, and I like like those some pickled red onions, so good textures, good flavors. And I can't wait for Brandon to have the stinky blue cheese, because it is seriously stinky blue cheese. So it's my turn? Uh -huh. It is my turn. So things we've learned, right. Brandon does not know how to eat a wedge salad. I just, I, let's take a bite, shall we? Really? I, I'm even holding it weird. <laughs> you are left-handed. Mm. That's it. Okay, yeah, see, I told you, the blue Look. cheese in it... Everyone? The dressing's great. If, if you can have this, again, there is dairy like Sarah said, but if you can, this is all healthy. This is healthy food. No. For this salad. Not really. But the salad dressing is very nice. Okay, Brandon's just going to keep digging in. I am. The appetizers are incredible. All right, we're going to keep enjoying. Everyone, must get. Must get. Not as good as the uh, bacon mix. So, our entrees came is it, is it, at all my making Yeah. So much. Yeah. Let's just go with the uh, six ounce filet cooked medium. And you got our red wine sauce. Red wine sauce. Which is also gluten free. I took a taste of it. It was mm. very good. Succulent. Oh boy. Amazing. Uh, amazing. Right. One more bite. Then I'm going to need you to try the potatoes yeah. and the mac and cheese. Okay, so Brandon says it's good. After, when we debrief, we'll talk about our litmus test of steak. Yeah. So mashed potatoes or what? You pick. Mashed potatoes. It is Brandon's favorite thing in the world. And you can see, I also got the garlic mashed oh. potatoes. I want to see if Sarah agrees. Very buttery. That that very, track. They very, look very creamy. More by creamy. Yeah, very much so. Okay. It's delicious. And now the piece de resistance. Yeah, the piece de resistance. The coup de grace. The, whatever the words are. All the things. It's mac and cheese. Oh boy. And very sizable oh. portion. Oh, oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I'm sorry, everyone. How many cheeses are on this? At least he said five. He said five. I think five. Multiple cheese species are on this. <laughs> Abs. I want. Okay. Everything here is amazing. Everyone. Everything. I want a whole hand of mac and cheese. Oh boy. 
we're gonna let Brandon keep digging in because he is very excited about this meal. Okay. Got the filet. I got the beef tenderloin medallions. Um, Gluten-free, dairy-free, without the butter. So that's an easy option to make super safe for people. I also got the signature Steakhouse 71 sauce, which is yep. gluten-free and dairy-free. Sounds like it's kind of like an A1 steak sauce. Right and you got the mashed potatoes. Yeah. And really and quick. Asparagus. So you're trying to buy the. Uh, oh. No, actually. Oh, okay. She said it was. Yeah. I Okay. Oh, 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 you're trying it now. Sorry. Very good. 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 Great flavor. This has, he said, date and tamarind. Super yummy. Brandon can't have it because it got fish. But I think the asparagus is gluten free, and you can make it dairy free by omitting the parmesan. Okay. I actually didn't think I was getting Parmesan. Asparagus, asparagus. It's got, it's got some vinegar in it, so it's like... Okay. It's kind of gross flavor, but then a vinegar punch to it. I like that. That's very nice. And finally... And finally, the mashed potatoes. Oh my. Yeah. Oh my. Okay. And a lot of dairy. Okay. So, yeah. I can see why Brandon enjoyed those. Yeah. Um, but they do have a lot of good sides that are, depending on your special dietary need, mixing and matching, which is really nice. Okay. Let's take it for now. We're going to keep taking it. Yep. Delicious. Let's do it. A meal. I Everyone has no words. There are no words. Oh boy. There, there are no words for real. Um, we have a lot to do. We have a this. lot. Let's Listen, try to keep it punchy. Why do you watch our videos? Do you watch it for the food? Do you watch it for Sarah or me? For Brandon, Hopefully for both. <laughs> or do you watch it for our debriefs that last longer than the totality of the video prior to it? <laughs> it's because true. Sarah's like, let's keep it brief. We're probably going to be here at least 10, 15 minutes. Oh, gosh. Let's I keep hope it not. punchy. Let's try to keep it punchy. Us. I believe in us. All right. Where do we get? Okay. Let's let Sarah start. First of all, can we say maybe the overall thoughts of our experience and the actual meal, and then maybe we can reflect on our comparisons of the wave versus Steakhouse 71. Yeah. Um, okay. So what was the first part? Our overall experience. Overall experience, phenomenal. Right? Okay, we're done. Our job is done. No, you said overall experience. Yeah, our job is yeah, done. Phenomenal. Go to Steakhouse 71. Go to Steakhouse 71. <laughs> um, phenomenal. Amazing. Nothing bad was served to us. Um, service was outstanding. Chef was outstanding. Yeah. The food was excellent. I think it's a very special diets friendly oh, yeah. location because again, steakhouses I think are really great for whether well, you're gluten free, dairy free, because things can be super easily modified. Like all the steaks could be gluten-free, dairy-free, and pretty much top eight free straight out the gate. Awesome. Um, they then add different things, maybe a butter on top, maybe a sauce that has, you know, a certain ingredient in it. So there's lots of mix and match. Same with the sides, tons of steakhouse sides that are easy to swap and adjust to a make A ton. It. Yeah, and also the chef told us there were several things marked on the menu that were not marked gluten-free, oh, yeah. like the asparagus, and he's like, it's completely gluten-free. Yeah, he, he actually did say that. He said they... Which is good, by the way, but they're being over cautious, right? Yeah, and sometimes the allergy menus they don't always put things on, even if it is gluten free. They do some weird stuff sometimes with the menu, so yeah. that's one of the other reasons we always say talk to a chef because even if it's a simple modification or it is actually safe, uh, it's just good to talk through those things. So um, I think the entree is very special diets friendly, no matter what. Um, they even had some other things like fish and chicken and a pork dish. We didn't, you know, get those. Maybe next time we'll next do time that. Next time, maybe. Because um, the fish sounded really good. Yeah. Um, but there is something for everybody, even if you are not um, a steak eater or even a meat eater. There are definitely a lot of options. They've done a ton of stuff for plant-based people. Um, so if you're vegan, 
a lot of the vegan stuff is not going to be gluten free here, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, but if you are dairy free or vegan, there's some great options here um, that look really good, including a really awesome dessert. Which, okay, that's my only negative of this restaurant. But are we going to wait? Hold Desserts. on, hold on. Where are we going with this now? Because I'm giving my overall experience. Okay, overall, because there are a few criticisms I have. Okay. But I didn't know if we're going to that now. Yeah, Oops. so I guess maybe really quickly guess yeah. all the pros. The food quality was excellent. Excellent. Theming. Service was excellent. So service. Outstanding. Outst I forget our server's name and I apologize. She was outstanding. So good. So good. Chef was outstanding. Brian? Yeah, Brian. Brian, outstanding. So good. So helpful. The theme is excellent. I think they actually did a really great yeah. job with the retheming. It's totally different in there. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of similarities because the structure is the same, yeah. but... Man, they I did am, a great job recurving it. I am highly, highly impressed. You never know what you're walking into with a Disney retheme of anything, be it a restaurant, a ride, a fireworks display, a parade. You don't, you never know. So we came in thinking it would be pretty good. I was very impressed. Yeah, they did a great job. And also, I may have an unhealthy love of mid-century modern. Mm -hmm. So I she love does. all things no, mid-century. Sarah does. Whether you know this or not, she just told you. The truth. All things mid-century. She spoke the truth. Mid-century modern architecture, furniture. I love it. Theming. Oh my gosh. Um, if you have a real home that's mid-century modern, I shit all over it. Yep. Want a mid-century home one day. Yep. Um, so art deco. Yeah. So the theme was great. Um, food was great. Our appetizers were great. Mm -hmm. um, I think those were just phenomenal. Great appetizers options. were phenomenal. We had the bacon and eggs. Yep. And the uh, oh, the wedge salad. salad. Um, yeah, both delicious, super high quality. Yeah. So I think they've done a great job. With the overall theming, the food, everything, top notch. Mm -hmm. Drinks were also great. I think the drinks were. Go ahead. I was going to say one positive and one yes. slightly negative. Uh, yeah, there is a negative we talked so about. So I love the creativity of yeah. the drinks. I love that they tied a lot of the food and especially the drinks to the theme of the restaurant yep. and the nods and touches to Disney history, which is great. The quality of the drinks were very good. Tiny, Yeah. Tiny, tiny. Listen, and every expensive. Listen, everyone. We've had a few people say, when we say, listen, everyone, listen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are not, most of the time, heavy drinkers. But we like to get an alcoholic beverage from time to time. Okay. Disney usually, as they do with everything, maybe it's a little expensive here and there, but they usually give enough. These drinks were, yeah, um, and it wasn't just ours. We checked other people's drinks. You know, you eyeball them as they go by. Yeah. They're, they were all small. So if you do get a, a drink here, most likely you will love it. It will be delicious, but it's not a lot. Yeah, they were tiny. I think also because we went to Toledo uh, yeah. not that long ago, and the drinks there were quite sizable. So, yeah, um, yeah just something to think about. But again, the quality is great. I really Quality's applaud great. them for having creative stuff, not just a standard bar menu. So I really hope that more refurbishments have that. So that yep. would be my one kind of negative on the drink. Um, and that's, yeah, mine too. I completely agree. And then my only other major negative of the meal was the dessert. And this is one of those, I'm not a very big fan of creme brulee. You all know this if you've watched any of our videos. Sarah will link to every video we've ever made. <laughs> oh, the creme brulee. Okay. They did such a creative, great job for a vegan, plant-based, dairy-free dessert. People, please stop baking creme brulee Wait, the Sarah, default. Wait, Sarah, what the people, I usually say, listen, y'all. Yeah, yeah, Sarah just said, people and y'all. So <sighs> let's do this. Sarah, speak. Okay. <laughs> I am so excited for those people who have plant-based options, who are getting really cool, creative things <laughs> on the menu. Please stop making creme brulee the default dessert. Especially if you have multiple special dietary needs. That's no fun. That's it. I would just yeah. like to see something more creative. Because we completely skipped dessert. Yeah. Number one, we were very full. So we weren't planning on getting dessert to begin with. <laughs> but then also, I was like, creme brulee, yeah, I'm out. I, yeah. That's not even a question. Yeah. I would rather I think save my calories and stuff for something else. Since the first <laughs> day I met Sarah, like day one. Maybe, maybe not, day two, I don't know. But creme brulee, I think not in all dream. these years, all the years we've been together, I think dream. I have literally seen her say one time, 
one crim I couldn't tell you which one it was, but there's one time she said, this creme brulee is actually pretty good, and she ate like half of it, and that was it. Um, do you remember like, which one I it was? It doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It was one. Everything else, she's like, no. She'll always try a bite. She she will try. Other than that, she's when Good it night. comes out or they say creme brulee, it's like. No, I'm out. Really? So that's it. Yeah. I would just love to see <laughs> a little bit more effort on the, on the yeah. gluten-free dessert. That's all. <laughs> everything else I thought was phenomenal. So it was just a little bit of a bummer on okay. that. But everything else, top notch. Yeah. So then I guess maybe just a quick comparison. The Wave, Steakhouse 71. What do you think? Wait, I, I, I want to be critical of something too. Okay. L listen. Oh no. I want to be careful with what I say. You're calling this Steakhouse 71 clearly and undeniably attempting to reference Steakhouse 55 at Disneyland. This is not Steakhouse 55. Again, phenomenal. I, we're going to recommend this place to everyone. We recommend it yes. to you. If you if you stop here, go to Steakhouse we're 71. We're going back. I want to go we're going get back. lunch and breakfast. In saying that, however, this is just me pondering like this. This is Brandon being very critical this because is he being, loves Steakhouse 55. Yeah, here's the thing. Should this have even been called Steakhouse 71? Is that an appropriate name? Could it have been the exact same thing, exact same meals, exact same food, exact same architecture, exact same, and literally identical minus the name. Because with this name, they are attempting to make your mind ponder and think about Steakhouse 55 on the North and East South, West Coast. Yeah, although I Sorry. will say, <laughs> maybe not everybody knows about Steakhouse 55. True. So maybe the name doesn't mean as much to other people when... That, that's true. Reference. So that's all. That's true. I'm like, point, counterpoint. There is a counterpoint. <laughs> if, you've, if you've been to Steakhouse 55, you know they have a dress code and they have a little thing where they move Yeah, but the... it's like, that's a proper steakhouse. Exactly. I don't, this is not a proper, this is a restaurant that serves steak. Ex exactly. I feel like this restaurant exactly. is more inspired by the time, like the 1970s, because the menu has a lot of like popular things that I think you would have gotten in the 1970s uh, yeah, in Russia. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think it's more reflective of the time than it is of a steakhouse. That's true. And we're having a real existential conversation right now. Yeah, no, she's completely <laughs> right. I, I, Brandon's brain just... No, no, wondered. she's right. I just don't know if it should be called steakhouse. Anymore. I hear you. Because with the 71, they're referencing the 55 with the year opening for... Anyway, moving on. This is a non-issue, really. Yeah, because maybe, why? It's phenomenal. It is phenomenal. It's fen we can, whether we agree on the name or not, it's phenomenal. I agree. And I do miss the wave. Oh, yeah, we were going to because that. Because I love, <laughs> there was so much. And we also have, like, a lot of personal memories a with lot. the wave. And so I do miss that, and I miss some of the food stuff. But I think this is a worthy successor. Mm -hmm. And I Very think worthy. the prices are still very reasonable for a disney yeah. restaurant i think the quality is a great value for the prices because it is still you know disney prices are still expensive but i think what you're getting is really good and i think i'm not sad it's now steakhouse 71 because i think the food was really excellent and the theme yeah. was really excellent and the service is still great and so many of the people who were working there many of the cast members yeah. are still there yeah. so i'm I gonna always miss the wave but i am not sad to stay Cal 71 because I think it was still great. I just had a moment. As Sarah was talking, I thought of something on the spot, which I want to throw by her live on video. We're not live and it's not even video. It's whatever. <laughs> um, I miss the wave a great deal. We both do. We were talking about it while we were there. The wave was one of our go-to restaurants yeah. and we have a ton of personal mm -hmm. memories there. A ton. And as a hidden Now job. that we've been to Steakhouse 71, thinking looking right now at the wave thinking back did the wave seem dated it might be dated it never looked dated but now that we have steakhouse 71 right now as we sit here it feels dated the wave well it hadn't you know been, what i mean it hadn't been refurbed but it didn't feel dated until we got until a new restaurant so i think this might prove why imagineers are smarter than i am <laughs> you know, they have a better vision yeah um but no i miss the wave we will always miss the wave um, it's the in wave our is, hearts, it's and, in our our hearts and our minds forever. And um, 
Yeah, I'm having a moment because it, it's really one of our favorite restaurants was changed to an absolutely phenomenal restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, okay, this is going on way too long, and I apologize. <laughs> you've Sarah, seen a real if, 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 moment. If, if you've seen our videos mm -hmm. before, and hopefully you have. If not, watch them. No, seriously. We, we Sarah and I typically, we of course, always talk. We talk all the time. But before we start our little wrap-ups, we don't really talk. talk. We like to kind of just... Yeah, we do it know, on the fly. We do it on the fly, and I'd say 90% of the time we agree, and every mm -hmm. so often, like you saw in this video, we have slight disagreements. It's true. But it's fun because who do you agree with? Probably. <laughs> 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 but um, uh, anyway, but, uh, what else? Well, I'm sorry, this is no, going on too I think, long. It's so, phenomenal. Yeah, I think overall, highly recommend. Highly. Super highly. impressed. We, Two again, thumbs up. miss the wave, we but miss you, this is a great, we do. This is a great successor, and we are very excited to come here for lunch and breakfast and, oh, and yeah. back for dinner again. Sarah told me that. Um, I did not know that. As we were eating, she said that it is a different menu for breakfast and lunch as well. Ooh, so yeah. there's three different uh, menus. I, I Everyone may know this by now, but she does all the research. <laughs> she Brandon just shows up. I just show up. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry. You were the but, star of the show. Uh, no. no. Um, it, yeah, so I didn't even know. So I cannot wait to come back here yeah. for lunch. Because um, we love the wave lunch. We love the wave lunch. And I'm sure breakfast, too, when Sarah can drag me out of bed. Um, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> okay, well, we've been talking way too we long. We have. If you've kept up with this. You called 15 minutes, though. I so. said 15 minutes. And our little counter up here, yeah, right, right there, up. says 15 minutes. Yeah. So, so um, that's going to be it. We we're, loved we're, it. We're sorry. We but we loved it. We did. Go ahead. Go ahead. And hopefully you enjoyed watching this. We would love to hear what you think. Yep. If you have either been to Steakhouse 71 yet, um, or if you are hoping to go, what you are looking at, we'd love to hear that. Otherwise. Otherwise, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon. Everyone is amazing and awesome. And thank you if you subscribe, uh, thumbs up, like, hit the little bell. Bing. Bing. Um, but yeah, seriously, please leave a comment. This is a brand new restaurant. Have you been here yet? Are you looking forward to it? Are you coming on vacation soon or sometime in the future and have a reservation or now you want to make one or, or maybe I'm going to say it, maybe you watched our video, no matter how much we loved it, you, what you saw, maybe you don't want to make a reservation, leave that comment too. But, um, very, very worthy of now being in the spot of the timeless wave. That's true. Just, uh, so the wave, we missed you. We, we will always miss you. Watch our video when we went there for the last time. Mm. Um, we miss it a lot. But uh, take out 71, everyone. It's a legitimate. It was awesome. It's a legitimate winner. It's awesome. So. Uh, yeah, we yeah. can't wait to come back. Can't wait. Yep. Anything else? That's about it, right? I think that's about it. Good. So right. we hope you enjoyed it. Yep. And we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.